Hey guys, welcome back to Oliver Travel Trailers. We're standing in our beautiful showroom at the Oliver Sales and Service Center, located here in Hohenwald, Tennessee. And while we'd love to have you come down for a tour, we understand that some people can't make it. So if you can't make it for a tour, be sure to continue watching this video because we're about to showcase our 2023 Oliver Travel Trailers. Let's go. Hey guys, welcome back to Oliver Travel Trailers. This is Phil Andrews and we're here on a beautiful spring day in Hohenwald, Tennessee. And today we're gonna showcase our 2023 Oliver Legacy Elite 2. Now, the last time we did a video on a walkthrough of our Oliver Legacy Elite 2 was in 2020. You may remember Rodney Lomax taking you through and showcasing our 2020 Oliver Legacy Elite 2. Well, now we'd like to update that video with the 2023 Oliver Legacy Elite 2 and showcase some of the new features. Now, if you've been following Oliver Travel Trailers, then you know that we like to incorporate some of the best products into the design of the travel trailer. And that starts from the tongue and goes all the way back to the bumper. So today, let's get started looking at the Bulldog Coupler. This is the coupler that we've used since we started building all of our travel trailers. And we like it because it's very durable and very safe. It's made of cast iron. It is a 7,000 pound rated two inch ball coupler. Two inch here is standard and it's very easy to operate. Once you're on the ball of the truck, you simply squeeze the gate in, pull the lever back, and then you have a pin that goes in to keep this thing secure for while you're going down the road so that this lever doesn't come up. Another great option on the Oliver Travel Trailer is the all aluminum storage basket. This basket is a great utilitarian spot for a cooler, a generator, a toolbox. I would say most people carry a generator up here. Now, right behind that storage box, you're gonna notice your tongue jack. The tongue jack works in conjunction with two other rear jacks at the back of the trailer to stabilize the Oliver Travel Trailer. The tongue jack and the rear stabilizer jacks all are operated with a toggle switch, so everything's power. You do have a level bubble on the top of the jack you also have a light at the front of the jack as well. So in low light situations, if you get to the campground a little bit late at night, you definitely have a light to help you get things sorted out and get set up for camping. Working back from the jacks, you will now move to the propane housing. You see this very nice molded fiberglass lid here, and it just transitions beautifully into the body of the travel trailer. Uh, this is very durable and a safe place to keep your propane. Uh, we've also included an access port just so that you can reach in open a propane cylinder, change the regulator over from one side to the other. And this trailer comes standard with 20 pound propane tanks. We also have an option for 30 pound tanks if you'd like to stay off grid just a little bit longer. Another great option for the Oliver Travel Trailer are the LP Quick Connects. When you order the LP Quick Connects for the Oliver, you get one at the front and one at the rear of the trailer as well. So you've got two, that means you can run a propane grill on one and maybe a fire pit on the other. Directly to the left of the front propane quick connect, you'll notice an additional shore power connection. Now, your standard shore power connection is gonna be about midway down on the street side of the travel trailer. This is an option for the Oliver, and you can get this as a standalone feature, or you can get it as a part of our Outdoor Pro package. The Outdoor Pro package includes the front basket, the propane quick connects, the 30 amp convenience connection, 30 pound propane tanks, and a bike hitch receiver at the rear of the trailer that we'll talk about a little later. So now here we are on the street side of the 2023 Oliver Legacy Elite 2. Let's take a look at some of the features. Now, most of you know that the Oliver Travel Trailer is a true Four Seasons camper, and we've achieved that with a double hole design and dual pane thermal tinted windows as well. So that's a standard setup on the Oliver. So now let's take a look at one of the most important features on the Oliver Travel Trailer, your batteries. The Oliver comes standard with four 12 volt wet cell batteries, but a lot of our customers like to camp off grid. We call those boondockers. And for our boondocking community, we offer a few solar packages. The first solar package is gonna be four six volt AGMs, 400 watts of solar, and a 2000 watt inverter. And of course, a charge controller. The next two packages up get into the lithium battery packages. The first lithium package is called the Lithium Pro, and that comes with three 130 amp hour batteries for a total of 390 and 400 watts of solar on the roof. And now you get a 3000 watt inverter for this package. The very best package that we offer for our serious boondockers is gonna be the Lithium Platinum. That package comes with a whopping 640 amp hours of total battery power. You have 400 watts of solar on the roof and again, a 3000 watt inverter. So let's take a look what that looks like. Right here behind this door, you have a lockable latch, of course, to keep the batteries protected and a vented door. There is a slide out tray that houses our two 
lithium batteries that make up the total of 640 amp hours here. So really like this feature. Great that this is on the slide out tray. It makes it easy to inspect these batteries and it's at waist level. So it's very ergonomic for the customer. Each of those solar packages comes with an additional port to hook up a solar portable suitcase. Now, let's take a look at the wheels, tires, and suspension that comes standard on the Oliver Legacy Elite 2. The wheels that you see here are 15-inch aluminum wheels. They have 10-ply E-rated tires as well, so this is going to keep you nice and safe as you're going down the road. They'll last you a really long time. In behind the tires and wheels, of course, is the suspension. We use leaf spring suspension, quad gas shocks, and an easy flex suspension that's going to give you a little more independent action with the axles as you're going down the road. This means that whenever you're traversing washboard roads or hitting potholes, you're gonna get a much smoother ride from the travel trailer. Another great feature about this suspension setup is the axles themselves. These axles are actually never lube axles, meaning you don't have to repack bearings every 12,000 miles or every year like you used to. Now you get a five year, 100,000 mile warranty on those axles without having to do any of the maintenance. For your outside storage, the Oliver Legacy Elite 2 has a nice deep storage area right here on the street side of the travel trailer at the rear. And you'll notice that this space goes back about two thirds of the width of the trailer. So plenty of space to put your outdoor gear and equipment. Inside this same area, you will notice your switches for your rear jacks. Those are gonna allow you to lower your stabilizer jacks. And they're just toggle switches here, very easy to access. Right below that, you have an outdoor shower that comes standard on every Oliver. And that has hot and cold water function. Below that, you will see your black and gray tank drain valves. These are the valves that you'll pull whenever it's time to empty your black water or your gray water from their respective tanks. Now, directly to the right of that compartment, you will see a satellite and a cable coax hookup. These come standard on every Oliver travel trailer. Also on the street side of the travel trailer, directly below the storage compartment, you will notice the marine grade water inlets that we install on the Oliver travel trailer. The one on the left is labeled for your fresh water tank. The one on the right is your city inlet. So if you're at a campground and you just need water to go directly to your faucets and toilet, you'll just hook up directly to the city inlet. If you'd like to fill your fresh tank for a boondocking adventure, go ahead and hook up here, turn on the water and wait for the water to overflow. Or you can use the interior readout to make sure that you've got 100% full tank of fresh water. Now, here we are at the rear of the 2023 Oliver Legacy Elite 2. Let's take a look at some of the features starting from the top and working our way down. On the roof, you will notice the 13,500 BTU Truma Aventa Eco Air Conditioner. This is a new option for 2023 and it's been immensely popular. That popularity is based on the fact that that air conditioner is about 20 to 30 decibels quieter than the 11,000 Dometic High Efficiency that we put on the standard Oliver Travel Trailer. So a big time option right there that a lot of people are going for because it's quiet. It also has a built-in dehumidifier as well. So that's another great feature. Directly behind the air conditioner, you will notice that there is an omnidirectional antenna. That omnidirectional antenna is an option and that's basically gonna allow you to do a channel scan at any given locale to pick up their over the air local channels. Right behind that and on the edge of the Oliver lens, you'll notice a rear camera. That rear camera is one of the most important features you can equip the Oliver with because it has a safety feature as well. Backing in is one thing. You can use it to safely back into your site, but the biggest benefit to that backup camera is gonna be using it going down the road. With the monitor plugged into your truck, you'll be able to see what's going on behind you just like you would with a rear view mirror. Another really cool iconic feature on every Oliver travel trailer is the Oliver badging right above the marker lights. And yes, that does light up with the marker lights when you're going down the road at night. Directly below that, you will see a very nicely molded spare tire cover. So very nice look there. And you do have a full size spare tire and wheel inside this housing. Now, just since you've been watching this video, you've seen a lot of aluminum products on the Oliver travel trailer. The longevity and durability of an Oliver travel trailer starts at its foundation. That's why at Oliver Travel Trailers, we build a 6061 aircraft grade aluminum frame with a steel sub chassis that's been hot dip galvanized. This is going to ensure that you don't have to contend with rust and corrosion over the years. Another great option on the Oliver Travel Trailer for our bikers is the bike hitch receiver. 
This is an inch and a quarter bike hitch receiver and has a weight capacity of 150 pounds. So if you like to ride bikes, if you need to take your mountain bikes with you when you travel, this is a great option to consider. Directly below the bike hitch receiver, you will notice our aluminum bumper. This is made of the same material that we use for the frame. So it's 6061 aircraft grade aluminum. The cool thing about this bumper is behind it, you have extra storage on the outside of the trailer. So with the quick release pins on either side of the bumper, you can pull those. This bumper swings down and inside you can see we've already got our hose hooked up for our waist. So the waist hose hooks up you can roll it back up inside this compartment. You never have to store it anywhere else. You just leave it hooked up and cap it off when you're done. As many of you know, the Oliver does come with a standard powered awning. That powered awning has a wind sensor, so if it gets windy, it'll put itself away. It also has a really cool LED light strip. But what you may not know is you can actually opt for a second awning. Let's take a look at the awning on the street side of the travel trailer. So you can see this awning's coming out, very smooth operation. If it gets windy, it'll put itself away and it just really does give you the capability of adding shade to the other side of the travel trailer. Very popular option. A key feature for any travel trailer is exterior lighting. So let's take a look at what the Oliver comes equipped with. The Oliver has four of your porch lights, two on each side, and then there are six courtesy lights below for ground lighting. You have three on the street side and three on the curb side. So plenty of ground lighting there. In addition to that, you will have the LED light strip on the awning. And if you opt for the second awning, you'll have some symmetry there with the light strip on the other side as well. The Oliver comes standard with many of your typical household appliances. One of those appliances is the water heater. Your standard water heater is a six gallon water heater and is very reliable, but if you like instant and constant hot water, you may take a look at the Truma as an option. That Truma water heater is paired nicely with the new Truma furnace that we run on our 2023 models. The water heater, the furnace, the Truma AC are all operated from one control panel. So it just makes everything nice and easy and you have a very nice compact heating and air unit. Another really convenient feature of every Oliver travel trailer is gonna be the outside 110 outlet. This 110 outlet is GFI protected and in a waterproof cover. Let's take a look at one of my favorite features for 2023, come on. For our 2023 model, Oliver decided to go away from the three-way refrigerator, and now standard, you get a two-way compressor style refrigerator. This has been highly anticipated by a lot of our boondocking community. So we're really excited to offer that feature. But one of the cool side effects of doing that is the ability to get rid of that vent down here at the bottom and replace that with a really cool fold-up table. Now that you've got the table, you can make drinks, you can prep food for the grill, just a number of applications you can use this utilitarian space for. So we're really excited about that new feature in 2023. Now, I'm sure by now you guys are excited to take a look at the inside of the 2023 Oliver Legacy Elite 2. So we'll do that. But before we do, let's take a look at the door and the entry steps. This particular door is equipped with our electronic keypad door handle option, and that door handle comes with a four to six digit personalized code that you can set. It also comes with a key fob, so it's super convenient if you're prone to losing your keys or if you'd like to take a hike in the woods or go kayaking and not take your keys with you. Really cool feature there. If you drop directly below the door, you will see the entry steps. These entry steps are made of 6061 aircraft grade aluminum, just like the frame, and they're very easy to use. To deploy the steps, you just pull them out with one hand, and then you drop the second step down, and you've got a really nice and convenient double step feature. These are very durable, they're welded to the frame, so you won't find a better step in the industry. The 2023 Oliver Legacy Elite 2 comes in two different floor plans. You can opt for the standard king bed floor plan, which is a U-shaped dinette that converts down into a king bed. Let's take a look at how that works. So here we are inside the Oliver Legacy Elite 2 2023 standard king bed floor plan. And we're gonna take a look at what makes this one different than the twin bed. Now the twin bed floor plan is the more popular option, but the standard floor plan does come with a very nice king size bed area back here that's converted from this U-shaped dinette that you see into the king bed. So whether you're entertaining guests for a fun night of games or you're having some friends over that you met at the campground for a nice evening dinner, this is a great space for that. This table and this bench seating all the way around seats up to six people comfortably. Then when it's time for everyone to go home and you need to go to bed, this just drops right down into this ledge here to make a king size bed.
or you can opt for the more popular floor plan and that's the twin bed. More customers opt for the twin bed for a various number of reasons. I think that the biggest one is just the aisle space during the day and being able to get in and out of bed easily in the middle of the night. With either floor plan, you can opt for a high quality mattress to replace the standard cushions that come with the Oliver Travel Trailer. First thing you'll notice in this trailer is that there are beautiful clean lines. This is more of a European style design and a little bit different than the traditional construction that you see with other travel trailer brands. The, the reason that's a good thing is you have molded cabinetry. This stuff is going to stay intact while you're going down the road. You have very easy to clean surfaces, so you're going to be able to keep your space nice and tidy. And it just really does give you an overall elegant feel when you're inside this travel trailer. Upon entering the Oliver Travel Trailer, the first thing you'll notice is the two-person dinette across the aisle. This two-person dinette is perfect for enjoying a quick breakfast before you hit the road for your adventure of the day, or if you wanted to just sit here and get some work done on your laptop or catch up on reading a book. The other great feature with this dinette area is that it does convert into another bed. So if you have a guest, maybe if you take a grandkid with you or one of your uh, children, they can certainly sleep in this space very comfortably. Looking directly across from the two-person dinette, you'll notice your kitchen galley. The kitchen galley comes equipped with a standard stainless steel microwave, or as you see in this model, we can opt for the convection oven. The convection microwave oven is a great feature if you like to bake. Directly below that convection oven, you do have some countertop space here, and below the counter space, you will see a two-way refrigerator. So the two-way is great. It runs on 120 volt and 12 volt power. Uh, no propane required, so that leaves you with more propane for the rest of your uh, propane features. And it's going to be a very low amp draw whenever you're camping off grid. So a nice feature there, and that's new for 2023. Moving towards the back of the trailer from the microwave and refrigerator area, you're going to see your kitchen countertop. These countertops are made of fiber granite. They're completely comprised of fiberglass, and they're made to look like granite. So this isn't the typical stuff you see in other brands where you have Formica and a lot of laminates that can peel up over time. This is going to last you for a really long time. Um, it looks good, it's very functional, and it's very durable. You'll also notice you have a nice stainless steel sink that's underneath this inlaid cutting board and that all comes standard with the travel trailer. You do get the high arcing uh, nice faucet here with the detachable head and the swivel. And then moving on from that, you have some counter space and your two burner cooktop, which is a great space to cook up a meal or heat up some water for coffee or hot tea. You'll also notice that this area is very well lit as is the rest of the trailer. We use all LED lights and we have very nice lights in the surround areas that are just touch lights. So they're super convenient. If you need to turn the light on to get up out of bed or you just need to turn the light on above the stove here, just a simple touch does that. You also have your reader lights. With the push of a button, you can turn those on and off. You just simply push the lens. So another nice feature there, and that's all standard equipment on the 2023 Oliver Legacy Elite and Legacy Elite 2. Below the countertops, now you have your drawer space. This is very important. Any kitchen needs space for drawers for your silverware and things of that nature. And you'll notice that with the Oliver, we don't use any sort of press wood or any cheap materials. We're using hardwood. We have these things dovetailed at the joints, so very nice construction. And just like a high-end home, you have the nice soft close feature. And for going down the road, we don't want these to open up. So there's a latch in place where you can click those into place and they'll stay nice and firm while you're traveling. Another surprising feature relative to the size of the Oliver Travel Trailer is the amount of storage. If you look above, you have overhead storage all the way around, even in the back of the trailer. And then right beside me here to the left and across from the kitchen galley, you've got a very large pantry area that you can keep all of your dry goods. So just a nice use of space there. Right below that pantry, there's even a countertop that you can use for prepping food. And if you remove that countertop, you will see that there's extra space for more storage. So sort of a secret hiding space there. So if you remember when we were outside, we talked about the Truma water heater, which is optional, and the standard Truma furnace, which comes with the 2023 models. And we talked about how they were all on one central control panel for each of those appliances, including the brand new Truma air conditioner that we're offering for 2023 as well. And that's all done from this control panel right here by Truma. So very easy, very com uh, compact and convenient. 
Directly below that, you will see a standard feature that we've always put on the Oliver Travel Trailer, and that's gonna be your sea level two tank monitoring system. This will tell me my battery voltage, and it will tell me the percentage of water in my fresh, gray, and black tanks. You also have a water pump switch here. There's an additional water pump switch in the bathroom in case you forget to turn it on here. So very convenient. Directly below the sea level two tank monitor, you will notice that there's the optional control panel for your inverter. So if you do opt for one of our solar packages, like I said before, you get a 2000 watt inverter for the AGM package. And both of our lithium packages comes with a 3000 watt inverter. You will have a nice control panel here. And one of the things I'll point out, all of your control panels are at eye level. So they're very easy to access and easy to operate. So if you take a look at the left side of the pantry, the first thing you'll notice is your Bluetooth capable smart battery monitor by Victron Energy. So that's a nice feature and that comes with any of the solar panel packages for 2023. Directly below that, you will see the Furion head unit. This head unit is going to be a stereo DVD CD player. It has HDMI port, USB port, headphone jack, auxiliary port, and it's Bluetooth capable. So if you wanna to listen to some tunes in the evening, you can certainly Bluetooth from any device that you have. The standard stereo in the Oliver Travel Trailer is connected to your four speakers at each corner of the Oliver Travel Trailer and the TV right behind me. The TV that comes standard in a 2023 Oliver Travel Trailer is a 24 inch smart TV. So if you like to stream your favorite apps and your favorite movies and shows, you can definitely do that with the Oliver Travel Trailer and the sound will come from each of the speakers in the surrounding corners. Each 2023 Oliver Travel Trailer comes standard with a 10 speed max fan with the ability to bring air in or exhaust air out of the trailer. So whether you're cooking a meal at the kitchen galley or if you're just trying to move some air through the unit to keep condensation down and keep it nice and comfortable, you can certainly do that with the Max Fan. Another great feature of this Max Fan is that you can leave it open during the rain, you can leave it open going down the road. So it's very versatile and it does a really good job of keeping the air nice and crisp inside the Oliver Travel Trailer. Located directly behind the Max Fan on the ceiling, you will notice your air conditioner. The 2023 Oliver Travel Trailer comes standard with an 11,000 BTU high efficiency Dometic air conditioner, but you can opt for the 13.5 BTU Truma. The Truma Aventa Eco air conditioner is revolutionary in that it is much quieter than the Dometic. So if you like the quieter AC, you want to have a much higher quality air conditioner. And even if you look here, it does have a much higher clearance as well. So the Dometic hangs down just a little bit lower for our, so for our tall customers, that might be something you wanna consider as well. Definitely think it's a worthy upgrade and we've seen a lot of customers going that route. So it is very popular. At the very front of your Oliver Legacy Elite 2, you will notice a pretty spacious bathroom relative to the size of the travel trailer. It is a wet bath. So that means that everything inside the bathroom is protected and waterproof. You don't have to worry about getting anything wet inside there. However, if you wanna keep the toilet separate from the shower area, we do have an optional shower curtain available. Inside the bathroom, you will notice the same continued luxurious fiber granite that we've put in the main cabin of the trailer. And you have a stainless steel sink, a faucet that detaches from there and connects to the clasp up on the wall. So now you can use it for a shower head. It is also handheld. Uh, there's a very durable molded fiberglass shower pan. So you got a very sturdy surface inside here. You have a, another max fan for exhausting. There is a slider window inside the bathroom and an extra storage space above, just like the overhead storage in the main cabin of the Oliver. The Oliver Travel Trailer comes standard with a low profile porcelain toilet. But if you like to spend more time off grid, you may consider the composting toilet that we offer. It's been a very popular feature amongst our boondocking customers. Right beside the bathroom, you're gonna see a very spacious closet. So as if you didn't already have enough storage in this trailer, you've got a very deep and spacious closet to be able to hang your clothes on the clothes hanging rod. You've got two very nice shelves that go back very deep. And then you have a real deep area for you to keep your bags or any other luggage that you need to take with you on the road. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Follow us on social media at, at Oliver Travel Trailers. And if you need more information, visit olivertraveltrailers.com. You can also give the sales office a call. Our number is 888-526-3978. Again, that's 888-526-3978. See you down the road.